Hi everyone, I'm Alan Fine. I'm about to do something we haven't done on Insider Travel Report before. Speed dating with travel advisors. This is the DARE 2019 annual conference. We're on Symphony of the Seas and this is Insider Travel Report. So the DARE 2019 conference is for travel advisors who belong to Dream Vacations, Cruise One, or Cruises Inc. And these are the people we're going to talk to right now. Rhonda Day, Dream Vacations, Louisville, Kentucky. I am Shane Gray from Jessica and Shane Gray Dream Vacations from Battle Creek, Michigan. Christy Scannell, Dream Vacations, San Diego. My name is Lori Schuss. I'm from Naples, Florida, and we have a Dream Vacations franchise. I'm John Gaughan. For 15 years, I've been with Cruises, Inc., and I'm in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Hi, I'm Joy T, uh, Dream Vacations, located in Port St. Lucie, which is on the Treasure Coast of Florida. Susan Pretkus Combs, Dream Vacations, Tribuco Canyon, California. But my main question, and you can take as long as you want, but I have follow-ups, is why Dream Vacation? What, out of all the places you could affiliate yourself, why Dream Vacation? Dream Vacations, when I initially started my um, my due diligence to find an agency to go with, they were very um, open about how everything would be and, you know, did their best to explain the realities of what this, what this business is about. Um, they, you know, said, you need to decide if this is for you, if it's not for you. I mean very upfront about those sort of things, which is great. It wasn't a big sales pitch and you're going to make a million dollars and you know, I didn't I didn't feel didn't get that feel. I got the immediate feel that it's a family and they want to have people that are, you know, like-minded in that sort of scenario. So, what I've found after joining the organization is that it continues to be that way. And this this uh, family reunion conference every year is just a testimony to that and everybody you know helps each other and and supports each other and it's really great did you look at any other consortia i mean i dabbled in a couple others but didn't really contact them as heavily as i did during vacations i just you know kind of did online research and asked questions and so forth what about them turned you off sales pitch yeah, the get wit, get rich quick kind of thing, which I, I no. Uh, originally, it was Cruise One. You know, we changed brands a few years ago, um, and Cruise One I actually found through Entrepreneur Magazine, so just that top fifty thing. Um, so I contacted the main office and a really great guy contacted me and started talking and he wasn't salesy which I really appreciated so he yeah he was really interested in me what I was interested in um, what my goals were for a business so he didn't immediately start selling me a franchise and that really spoke to me because I didn't feel like he was desperate so we developed a really great relationship unfortunately he passed away a few years ago um, but um, anyway it was was a really good experience. Um, it felt like I had a lot of support and so I went for it. After the fact, like a year or two later, I did look at some of our competitors just to see what they were offering and I really just wasn't feeling the change. Yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. Why Cruises Inc? Did you look around? What made you decide that was where you wanted to be? I decided, you know, I really want something where I can't well, because of corporate restructuring, I can't just be laid off. I want to be my own boss. Yeah. And so I had learned that here was out something with very low investment. I could start out and be my own boss. Had had less than five hundred dollars for training and everything to get started in the business. And uh, and I didn't have to move or anything else. I had no real other options available at the time. And it just was a natural match for me. I went to my first conference the next year, and I was had been voted Rookie of the Year, and I have been in the top 15 in sales for the last 15 years. Now, some people decide that they want to move on and maybe have their own franchise. What are your thoughts? I had come to Cruises Inc. to be an independent contractor for the reason that was low investment and uh, 
the, the potential there was to, to grow much bigger. But I was having success, you know, in, in this one, and I didn't feel motivated to change. You know, I look back now and I say, well, if, if I'd done it 10 years ago, I might have had a much bigger business. But I've been successful, and, and it met a need that I had. You know, and not everybody it's, that's in that's an independent contractor is a full time worker. I had the freedom to be able to do it full time. Dream vacations. Out of all the places you could have aligned yourself, why? Because I was very comfortable working with this organization already with Cruises Inc. And then making the transition to Cruise One Dream Vacations made total sense for me. Cruises. How did you even choose Cruises Inc.? Well, in the beginning, that's the only thing I found that seemed to work for me in terms of being an independent contractor at the time. It's a different business model than Dream Vacations. So I didn't want a franchise. I just wanted to test the waters, if you will. No pun intended, actually. <laughs> and just see what the business would be like because my background wasn't travel. So... It was a great way with very low investment, yet getting great training and great support to see what cruise sales, at that time it was just cruise sales, would be like and how it would go. And it went great. And as you grow, then you look at the other business model. Okay, maybe a franchise makes sense. Well, I think you told me that uh, at some point you said, you know, a little more work, a little more commission, not so bad. Right, exactly. And it isn't that much more work for the return on that investment. But why Dream Vacations? How did you choose it? Well, when I first started, I was I started as Cruises Inc. Um, yes. Um, and I started searching for a home-based business. Once I found that I was going to do travel, I uh, started looking at host agency reviews and found that Cruises Inc. and World Travel Holdings had the most honest reviews. So I went forward with them. Why Dream Vacation? Well, we started out originally as uh, Cruises Inc., which is the agent side, because we wanted to get our feet wet and learn more about the industry. Um, my husband did most of the research. He found that the structure was what he wanted. The commission strip was very advantageous. They give you wonderful support. And so we decided to try the industry using Cruises Inc. Once we decided that that was what we really liked, we actually purchased our franchise as Cruise One. After the first five years, we renewed it. Um, they also decided during conference, of, in, I think it was 2013, that they were going to uh, rebrand as Cru Dream Vacations. And we decided to do that because there were so many other cruise companies. So it helped to distinguish us a little bit more. And also you could do it, it, it land. People would, would assume that you do everything, not just cruises. Right. Actually, the first time somebody asked us if we did cruises, we went, yes. <laughs> so it was a really nice feeling. Okay. I started out because a friend of mine owned a Cruise One franchise. Wow. And we used to work together in the same school. And I decided after I retired that I was looking for something to make some money. He offered to let me come on as an associate, and when I was ready to buy my own franchise was when they were making the decision to add the new division to Dream Vacations. So we decided to jump on that. It sounded more like covering all kinds of travel. All bases. All bases instead of just cruising, and it has turned out to be the best thing we ever did. That's great, but now, did you do any other research? Did you check any other groups? I did. I looked into several other franchise uh, offerings, other companies, and I really liked the model of Dream Vacations, what they had to offer, the support that they give their people, and the perks that they offer, and the, the relationships that they have with the other cruise lines, and tour operators, and uh, cruise, you know, land companies, and it just seemed to be the best company that had the most to offer us. There are a lot of things to take into consideration when you buy a franchise. This one was very reasonable. It was extremely reasonable because I had already started as an associate. So I had three and a half years experience before we bought our franchise. So the purchase price was a lot lower. And so I really liked that. I also like that they offer franchisees um, who are veterans the opportunity to have a franchise. And I think that's a wonderful, wonderful part of Cruise One Dream Vacations. Now, your, your husband's not, is your husband a veteran or you just like the fact that they 
My husband is not a veteran. Um, I like the fact that they do that. I think all the opportunities that can be given to veterans who serve our country should be given those opportunities. And we're the number one franchise every year for veterans, which I think is fabulous. I'm a veteran from the United States Army, and my wife uh, got a hold of information on a veterans uh, contest through World Travel Holdings and the grand prize was a franchise uh, through one of the brands. So I, I had to write an essay and, and so I did that, submitted. We, we did not draw first place, but we did place and we were offered a, a franchise at that time and we decided to, to wait. And so uh, my wife entered us again in this contest and the second time we, we placed again, but. I, I didn't feel that that was the time. The third time, we placed second. They gave it to a family who uh, the gentleman was deployed. He was in uh, Iraq, Afghanistan. His spouse, his wife, who's left in the United States, uh, was awarded the business. I was very happy about that. But that told me something. The third time, this came back to us. And I said, we're going to seize the opportunity. But it might be uh, maybe seen as a bit foolish had we not done research. And I'll tell you this. Dream Vacations, Cruise One, Cruises Inc., World Travel Holdings, uh, they had the best product, in my opinion, and in our opinion, for equipping their agents, for equipping their franchisees. We joined by buying the franchise, and what we suspected was very true. The training was second to none. Being a professional trainer, I, I know a bit about training adults. Uh, they equipped us, they gave us the tools, they gave us access to everything we needed. Most importantly, they gave us the connection to the human element in the office through support services. Somebody was always on the other end of the phone. Somebody was always uh, receiving an email and not only receiving it, but actually returning. That not only are you being heard, but you're being acknowledged. That human element is the most important thing, in my opinion, of any business. They're just, they're there for us. That is their focus, is us. It's not, I mean, yes, they have to make money and all that kind of stuff. You don't feel that. But we don't feel that. We feel that, and in the past year, I mean, we've associated with travel leaders, which has been awesome for us and very helpful. And it's at no additional cost. Right. So what they do is to support us. We keep adding value. Exactly. And that's what we do. We add value for our guests. Right. It, tri it trickles down. It works. It does. Instead of me having to have a staff of 500 people, for just me, <laughs> I can tap into the staff at our corporate office in Fort Lauderdale. If I need marketing assistance, wherever my expert uh, need is, technology, um, finance, whatever it is, there's somebody there instead of me having to hire all those people. So You have an expert for everything. That's a big deal, yes. There's an expert for everything.